you and I are going to practice the uh sound, the short u sound, in words like fuss and but. We're going to read a tongue twister, first slowly, then a little bit faster, and finally at a normal speed. Ready? Chuck was having fun under the sun one Monday. He was running around an ugly hut and sucking his thumb while feeding slug blood and other bug blood to a chubby bear cub under an umbrella. This was a must, as the young cub was hungry, but Chuck's own gut was empty. Chuck became unusually upset with his hunger, and he abandoned the young chubby cub, wondering what yummy stuff was available to fill up his hungry tummy. Arugula salad with asparagus and albacore tuna? Duck dumplings and gumbo? Honey granola banana nut muffins? Or maybe an amazing buttermilk buckwheat upside down cake with butternut pumpkins cardamom, nutmeg, and onions under an assortment of mushrooms. But all said and done, Chuck just stuck some buns in the oven, topped with plum, chutney, and chewing gum. And after consuming the plum chutney gum buns, Chuck's gut was run amuck until Chuck chucked the buns upward and upchucked under the unpleasant hug of the unyielding Sun, thus concluding his fun run under the sun. Round two, we're going to go a little bit more quickly. Ready? Chuck was having fun under the sun one Monday. He was running around an ugly hut and sucking his thumb while feeding slug blood and other bug blood to a chubby bear cub under an umbrella. This was a must, as the young cub was hungry, but Chuck's own gut was empty. Chuck became unusually upset with his hunger, and he abandoned the young chubby cub wondering what yummy stuff was available to fill up his hungry tummy. Arugula salad with asparagus and albacore tuna? Duck dumplings and gumbo? Honey granola banana nut muffins? Or maybe an amazing buttermilk buckwheat upside down cake with butternut pumpkins, cardamom, nutmeg, and onions under an assortment of mushrooms. But all said and done, Chuck just stuck some buns in the oven topped with plum chutney and chewing gum. And after consuming the plum chutney gum buns, Chuck's gut was run amuck until Chuck chucked the buns upward and up Chuck under the unpleasant hug of the unyielding sun, thus concluding his fun run under the sun. All right, last round, we're going to read at a natural, normal pace, at least my idea of a natural, normal pace. 
Chuck was having fun under the sun one Monday. He was running around an ugly hut and sucking his thumb while feeding slug blood and other bug blood to a chubby bear cub under an umbrella. This was a must, as the young cub was hungry, but Chuck's own gut was empty. Chuck became unusually upset with his hunger, and he abandoned the young chubby cub, wondering what yummy stuff was available to fill up his hungry tummy. Arugula salad with asparagus and albacore tuna? Duck dumplings and gumbo? Honey granola banana nut muffins? Or maybe an amazing buttermilk buckwheat upside down cake with butternut pumpkins, cardamom, nutmeg, and onions under an assortment of mushrooms? But all said and done, Chuck just stuck some buns in the oven topped with plum chutney and chewing gum. And after consuming the plum chutney gum buns, Chuck's gut was run amuck until Chuck chucked the buns upward and up chucked under the unpleasant hug of the unyielding sun, thus concluding his fun run under the sun. I definitely encourage you to practice this again with me until you're feeling comfortable with the pronunciation. And then when you want to, go ahead and branch off on your own. I've left the tongue twister in the description so you can copy and paste it wherever you'd like. And if you need detailed instructions on exactly how to pronounce this sound, go ahead and click on this video. I'll tell you where to put your tongue and your lips and your teeth, and maybe even your heart. All the mouth components will be explained. I promise.